So what we're going to discuss here today is really all of the different steps that you can add to any existing campaign that we've either got pre-created in our content exchange, a client has created in the content exchange that you want to have access to, or maybe you want to edit one that you've already edited. So I think most people know that we have the ability to automate steps like email, text message, uh, pretty standard CRM stuff, but we also have the ability to add video to those emails video to those text messages. We can automate phone calls out to folks where they can hear a message where they can press one to connect. We can automate postcards out to people. So we're living in our campaigns. Uh, we have multiple things, steps that we can add to campaigns. Kind of standard steps are email and text, but there are uh, many other additional steps that you can automate out to folks. Really, the goal with our system is to have your communication automated to all three of your databases if you're using all three of our databases, borrowers, partners, and recruits, so that new lead can receive new lead marketing, prospects can get prospect marketing, in-processing folks can get status updates, post-funded people can get a post-funded campaign, folks that have been canceled or in a long-term follow-up can receive campaigns, and then we've got plenty of standard stuff like holidays, birthdays, loan anniversaries, monthly newsletter, weekly market report. Uh, but there are some additional steps that you could take advantage of for your business in certain terms of inserting or using a step in a campaign. So in this example here, just to show you the layout before I dig into all of the different steps is this is a co-branded lead campaign. Uh, you can see that it's got uh, 23 steps total in this campaign. The T here means it's grabbing the template that you've chosen for this uh, outbound campaign. So you do have the ability to certainly pre-create a template for all of your normal email, normal campaigns. But if you wanted to create a different template for a different marketing campaign, you certainly could do that. All of these steps have an A next to it, meaning it's happening automatically. So unless you manually end this campaign or it's triggered to stop, this, this campaign will all happen automatically. This is a campaign that exists with all text, email, and tasks. So three different steps are built into this campaign. So all of the C steps are steps out as this is a new lead campaign, the potential client. In this example, we built out this campaign. If a new lead were to send you a lead through the partner portal, one, two, three, four things can happen immediately as soon as this lead is sent over to you. So the client could get a text, the client could get an email from you, which could be co-branded if the referral partner send it over to you. The P stands for the referral partner that sent you that lead could automatically get an email from you, you know, confirming that you got the lead. And then this is the system alerting you via task that that lead is there. Obviously communicating out to the client in any campaign, whether it's a one step follow up because they've hit a status or if it's a new lead follow up like this via text or email, but you also can loop in the referral partner at any point, but you also can build out communication to yourself via tasks. So this is alerting you that that leads in there immediately. It's also alerting you that it's still a new lead day three, day 15, but you could insert them anywhere along in the process. So you could build out a call sequence of tasks where the system is communicating to you to call this lead, just like it's communicating directly to the lead and even looping in the referral partner. The method is gonna let you know what the step is. And as mentioned, we have different types of steps in this campaign and we'll dig into all the different steps you can add, but this is text, email, and tasks. These are the intervals showing you when these steps are taking place, one being immediately when this record is added to this campaign, which you can create a trigger. In this example, as soon as the new lead is entered, it triggers to immediately join this campaign and have this information sent out immediately. Uh, you can go into any step and edit, so you can click a step, whether you've created it, whether you've downloaded from the content exchange and you wanted to review the contents of an email, you can click the, the link and it will show you the contents of the email. How you set up your email will preview in this window as well. You do have the ability to go in and send yourself a test email too. So you could drop your email address in here and it'll send you so you'd see exactly on your phone and your computer how that automated email is going to look the next time it's automatically sent. Uh, you also have the ability to delete a step if you would like or edit it. So whether you wanted to, in an email, as an example, change the title of the email, add contents, or even just delete the contents of this email and copy and paste content you used in the past. 
whether you wanted to change the interval and have this you know email go out day three instead of day two you certainly could do that uh, you also have the ability to add video so if it was a birthday email for this year you could insert animated birthday videos if it was an in-processing step you could add an in-processing video animated video we have some loan anniversary videos we have some about mortgage animated videos you could use on the front end and all you have to do is just insert the video and then moving forward every time the automated email goes the video will go with it you also can create custom videos so you can create an entire custom video library where anytime an email goes out the video of you to super personalize a text or email can go with it now digging into you know how you can add steps and the different steps that you can do outside of the text email and tasks that we talked about in this campaign so you can add any steps by just adding a new step to a campaign so if you're creating a campaign from scratch you can you know name the campaign you won't have any steps and then you're just going to build out your steps from there so right out right out of the gate you have the ability to add emails so again if you're building a campaign from scratch you can start building out your emails if you wanted to add emails to an existing campaign making a campaign that was intended to go out to someone for four months and you want to add two additional emails to extend that out an additional month or two you can do that and it's as easy as just adding the step creating the email putting the title of the email and then creating the interval so let's say you had in like the campaign i showed you it reached out to that lead for 120 days you could create an email, have the interval 150, and it's gonna hit them 30 days later, interval 180, and we'll hit them 30 days after the fact. So you're extending essentially a four month campaign into a six month campaign. Certainly can insert text messages as well. The other key piece of sending text through our system, we use a system called Be In Touch Voice, which allows you to select a number and then automate text, send group text, send text from the app, send text from the system, and it tracks all of that text within the record. But it also allows you to leave a pre-recorded message from that same number. So how that is often used is, let's say you are purchasing leads. Lead is integrated with our system. Lead posts into your database as a new lead. They could immediately get a text from you saying, hey, this is Henry. You had just reached out about interest in refinancing, whatever you're saying in that text. You could then create an interval where a call goes out 15, 20 minutes later, where from that same be in touch voice number, they receive a message. Hey, just shot you a text after you had inquired about a refinance. Feel free to reach out if I can answer any questions. It will then prompt them to press one to connect with you. And so whether they um, press the, the text message they got to call you back or they press to connect with you on a pre-recorded call, it's gonna automatically ring whatever number you set it up to call forward to so that that will seamlessly connect with you if they press one to connect with you or if they return a text phone call. And if you have multiple users and users own different records, you can set up different call forwarding numbers for both the outbound text and the pre-recorded messages. A couple of the other things that are a few of these other steps that you can add is you do have the ability to push that data out to print, print a label, print label or print and label. As an example of that is, you know, maybe a lead ran its course or got to a certain point, all of the data could be printed out as a label and as a letter to then mail them something. We do also have the ability to send postcards for you. So you're not limited to our library, but we do have a library of cards. This is an additional cost, this mail. But just to show you real quick, I'm going to go into more under marketing and I'm gonna go to mail. We've got a library of postcards from birthday cards to tax day to Mother's Day, really every holiday, refinance cards, loan anniversary cards. And you can see there's two of everyone because we can send either a regular size card for you, which we charge you 65 cents, or we can send a jumbo size card, which costs 99 cents. You have the ability to automate that step if let's say you wanted to send everyone a christmas card this year you could do that we can obviously personalize the other side of that card we could put your picture on that card our team can help you with that as well you're not limited to our library either as you could import an image of a card you've used in the past to, to create any type of card that you would like steps that can also be automated you could export address list to a csv file if you needed to export them out we both have XML posts and URL posts as well. Um, an example of that would be, so we have clients that use a product called Sales Boomerang, which can give alerts back to people that you have funded. 
And so they're working out of that database. Really, the record just lives in that database until they're alerted of something. And so what our clients can do is use our system to market to that new lead, however they got it. They move the prospects in processing, application, post funded. And so as soon as they get to funded in our system, we can then post that record as an example to sales boomerang automatically so that you wouldn't have to create a new file or export that file out of our system into theirs. That's just one example. We do also use or can integrate with Zapier to post records in and out of our system as well for some more of the advanced things. And I know we have plenty of clients that are doing that as well. The word gen is similar to pushing data to a, a print to letter. Update field, let's say we'll use that new lead follow-up marketing piece as an example. So they're in your database as a lead and they're getting emails, texts, emails, texts. You're trying to call them. The system's reaching out. They're never responsive. And then the four month new campaign runs its course. And so you could insert a step that after that email goes out and there's no response, let's say for X day, we'll say three days, the automated step or you insert this state to update the field to long term follow up so that the system can take that record automatically out of lead and put it into long term follow up because it's run its course on that new lead follow up. A uh, task we talked about. So we have some people that actually build out all task campaigns because they want to make sure they're always following up via phone. So at any point you can create intervals for a task of the record owner or anyone else, whether it's a loan officer, assistant, or someone else in your office that has a, a user account and be in touch. So, you know, a common time, not only for like call follow-up with tasks, maybe let's say the appraisal has been ordered. And so if you update that the appraisal has been ordered, that could send communication to borrower and referral partner that the appraisal has been ordered. It could also let the loan officer know that the appraisal has been ordered, but then maybe there is a task to do for follow-up that you always like to do three days after the fact. So that task could be built out to do that, remind you of that three days after. The last two things here in terms of automated steps are the ability to request documents. So at any point, a uh, common point is when an application can get complete, uh, we can send out a request for docs. And then we also have a proprietary e-sign tool where we have the ability to request an e-sign for any document. So all of that can be automated as a step in a campaign. This push notification is, so we have a portal. It's also an app for every borrower in our system and every partner in our system. So when you like manually put in a record or import a list of records or a record comes in from a lead source, however the, system, the record gets in your system, our system creates a unique username and password for them to log into that portal. From the borrower side, they can do an application, they can upload documents, they can communicate with you, they, and then they can follow along on where the process is, of the loan process is, and that's really where this push notification can come into play. So if you've updated in the status that let's say their loan has been approved and you can even do that from five LOS systems where you update the LOS, it updates and be in touch, you can send the record an email and a text that let, let's say their loan's been approved, but you also could create a push notification so that if you have a lot of clients that are using the app, they can get a push notification on any alert on top of an email and text, really having the ability to over communicate to any of your records. And, and then partners get a app as well. So they could get updates on all of the business they've sent you. And again, if you're using the app, you could set up push notifications. So just like, you know, bouncing back to that new co-branded lead campaign, referral partner is sending you that lead through the app, which he can. And that's really what this campaign was built out. He opens up the app, sends you a lead, lead drops into your system. Client gets a text, client gets an email, referral partner gets an email. You get alerted that that leads in there. That's all happening at once. You can even take it a step further and co-brand that email, but you could insert, if you knew that partner was sending you leads through the app, you could send them a push notification to alerting you that you got the lead as well. So multiple ways that you can communicate using that portal. And that's really all of the different steps that we can add. I'm gonna start going through some of these questions. Tony, you ask about onboarding and training to help set these things up. So absolutely, a new client, Typically within two business days, someone on our implementation team is gonna reach out to you via email, introduce themselves and send you a link to schedule a meeting. So it'll be a screen share where they can help you certainly answer all your questions. That meeting does go significantly better 
if you dove into some of our training uh, beforehand, and that's kind of the reason we come in two days after the fact, because as soon as you sign up with us, we do give you access to live training where you can start learning the system. Again, these are go-to meetings as well. Every day we've got two except Wednesdays. So you can attend this meeting, ask questions. You can still watch it recorded. We also have some initial training videos to help you with setup. We have a detailed user manual where we really have a how-to with screenshot and words to walk you through every process. So like our pick a search, which is our ability to search against any data field, save that search as a report, have that report emailed to you weekly, quarterly, monthly. And so this is a screenshot walking you through how you can do a search and then words explaining how you do it. And then at the bottom, it's got a video that walks you through that. So that's another resource. And we've got resource videos walk through on how to edit campaigns and add all of the steps I just talked about. We also have a content rich YouTube channel that is essentially all of those videos that are in our manual. They're just all together as videos without the, the walkthrough. And so what, you know, you could do a quick search of, you know, be in touch, CSV import, and it'll show that video. So it's a library of how to certainly have a support team that you can reach out to via phone, email, creating a ticket as well. Do you have a way to create fields that can be placed on a landing page that will pull in that info to a campaign and start it? So I'm not sure if this is answering your question, but yeah, like, so let's say you had put a web form on our site and we're just going to use this new lead campaign as an example. Someone's on your site and they fill out name, number, email, cell phone, whatever information you're collecting on the front end. And you can use our system. We have a web forms manager to put that on your site. So lead would drop into the system. In this example, they're going to get a text and email from you immediately. And if I go into this email, you see it says home loan financing for, and it's pulling the client name. And then it's saying hi client name. So any data field that you collected on the front end could be then inserted as a meta tag. You can see even here, there's a meta tag for your company name to personalize that communication back to them. So you asked about interval days. So those are all whole numbers in our system. You can make it so let's, let's say text goes out one immediately and then an email goes out, let's say 1.1 or 1.01. And I can send you a document what each fraction is in terms of what that is minutes wise in terms of separating. So yes, you could send out if you wanted to like a text immediately and then another text behind it an hour later if you wanted, for example. Thank you for watching this training video. To learn more about the BN Touch CRM, please check out our YouTube channel.